Hey there, good morning. So, um, it's a great morning to make waffles. So I've got the new um, griddle and waffle maker and panini press, sort of the all-in-one, sort of our new uh, spring 2021 product line. So I'm preheating the grill right now, and then we also have the waffle and pancake mix, so thought I would mix that up for you. Um, and then we can put it in here and hopefully it goes well because this will be the first time I'm using it. So wish me luck that it goes. So I kind of got all the ingredients ready. So I take this entire package and I mix it in there with two cups of milk, a teaspoon, or sorry, two tablespoons of melted butter, um, which I've got here. So I've measured out the two cups of milk and then the two tablespoons of butter. I'm just using the batter bowl. Bowl is really great for, I don't know, pretty much everything. I like it. We made drinks in it last night, I think. <laughs> and other things has been made, so we're gonna just mix that all up. And see how that goes. Wait for this, still preheating a little bit, I guess. But um, before I put these on, um, I should be brushing it with oil, so I will do that too. Um, and uh, go from there. Okay, so I guess you can't really see it on that side, but I shall brush this up a little bit with oil. That way it, I mean, it's nonstick, but I was like it's saying with our kitchen spritzer, um, please do not use Pam and or they need those type of aerosol sprays because they will actually ruin your nonstick finish because they have propane in them. And I think it reacts negatively to the nonstick finish. Um, so I've destroyed tons of baking ware and pans because I did not know that and learned that fairly recently. Okay, so the good thing about the batter mixing bowl is it has a pouring spout. So I'm just gonna pour these in. I don't want to put too much because I'm sure it would kind of leak everywhere, which would probably be bad. So I'm just gonna use it to kind of pour it into the waffle itself. Good. I'm always afraid to put too much in because then we have over spill. I don't know if I that should be good. What do you think? Yeah, we're just gonna close it on up and let it do its thing. Here we go. So we'll give it um, a few minutes. I'm not gonna bore you and let you sit here and watch this, but we'll uh, come back and um, do that later. Okay, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we are done. Uh, the little uh, grill beeped telling me my waffles were ready. And so here they are. They, maybe I should actually have a good idea. The fork. <laughs> Let's see. From my bubble waffle pan is really handy right about now to take the waffles off. So there we have waffles. Two of them like perfectly done and it tells you when they're done which is great see two waffles and then uh, we'll show you the next step which is cutting up some strawberries making some whipped cream and eating them okay see you in a couple all right so while the waffles are continuing to to cook we will slice up some strawberries right so um, with our paring knives like our knives are top notch. So you could sit here and tediously slice all of them if that's what you wanted to do. Uh, I, I tend to do things a little bit quicker. So this is the quick slice, right? And so I topped about four strawberries and then I just pop them in here and then we've got perfectly sliced strawberries for our waffles. Right, you can do bananas in here, you can do kiwis, you can do whatever kind of fruits you want but it is super handy and super quick, so that's all.